Hey everyone, this is your questions with Alana Winnick. Boom, boom, boom. What's going on? Alana, Hi. Alana on a Saturday. So Alana Winnick and I have been talking for the last uh, what, 60 some minutes connecting, I'm learning what she is actually ed tech director at Poconico. I've learned to pronounce so many things this podcast. So Alana, thanks for being on the podcast. Thanks for having me. It's really nice to meet you in virtual life. In virtual person. <laughs> Something like that, right? Is that yeah. what it is? It says, hey, nice to meet you in virtual person. All right. So we're going to do three questions with Alana, but I want to share uh, Alana as actually um, the, and you got this out pretty quick because like, I, I know like chat GPT is everywhere. So I know this book was published in, uh, it says August 1st, 2023. So obviously you're writing before, but obviously you just didn't like, Oh, chat GPT and like, just start learning about technology and education, right. You've been doing this stuff for, forever. So yeah. we're going to talk more about, uh, this on the podcast, but Alana is the author of the new book, the generative age, artificial intelligence, and the future of education. And before um, we get into three questions, if you can just kind of give uh, the listeners a one minute preview, what is this book? What's it about? How can it help them? Okay. So we'll get into it in the next episode, but Absolutely. like an elevator pitch version is uh, it's not actually about the technology or, and it doesn't actually teach you how to do anything. So if you're looking for a book on how to use AI, this is definitely not it. Mm -hmm. This is more of helping you understand what this means um, for your classroom, for your school, or for your school district, and what the future of education looks like in a world with AI. I'm not suggesting anything that is so far out there that you don't feel comfortable with. It's tried and true things. I love it. And so you can actually see it in the description down below. And I think that's one of the, you know, if you wrote a book step-by-step step on how to use AI. By the it would time have now dated the second ago. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Like right now, AI is the worst it's going to be moving forward, right? It's only going to get better over, you know, every single moment we're in. So I, I love that focus. So check out the book down below. We're going to talk more about it. So if you want to learn about some of the things Alana shared in this, this is it, you follow the podcast and you'll, you'll hear that on the Sunday conversation. So Alana, I know you were a teacher. I know you did like, you were right away into the educational technology space. You're, I'm going to say it again, because I'm very proud I can say it. You're the ed tech director at Poconico. And, Poconico. Uh, Poconico. Am I saying it wrong? Uh, Poconico. Yeah. Okay. I'm saying Canadian. Is that what you're telling me? I'm yeah, gonna... it's fine. It All will right. like, slide right. for the Canadians. All right. So, so you've done a ton of different roles. When you think of a teacher, whether you one you had as a kid, you know, one you've worked with, who's someone who really inspired you and why? Hey, I didn't know it could have been one I worked with, but the one I picked when I was, when I was thinking about this is my fifth grade teacher, Miss Simpson. Um, I think what she helped me realize, and it's actually related to a lot about my work right now with artificial intelligence is like human intelligence and, and human relationships and connections. She really took time to get to know me. Um, I don't know if you're allowed to do this anymore in 2023, but um, <laughs> she, she actually came to my home and celebrated like holidays with my family because she came from such a culturally diverse background than I did. And she really took time. She was interested in me, getting to learn about me, getting to know me and my background. And she really did come celebrate holidays with my family in my home, which I, I don't know if you're allowed to do anymore, but, right. but she, she did. And, and I, and she brought her son and I think she really got to know all of her students and we loved coming to class. She personalized things for us. She made us feel safe and comfortable. And it was just more about human relationships and human connection. And I didn't want to go to recess in fifth grade. Like I don't, didn't play, I, mean, I know you like sports, but like I didn't play them. Like what do I want to go and play on a playground in fifth grade? She gave me like jobs and things to do in mm -hmm. school. And then eventually the next year I started the recycling club. So I started using that time in a more purposeful way. And it was really because she helped me realize that I can make a difference and I can help people. And I didn't, I can use my time in a better way if I wanted to. All right. Let's give Miss Simpson a, a shout out. You, said, you know, you said something that is really connected to me is that this experience that you had with your teacher felt very personal, felt, made you feel very special, but you also alluded that this is probably something she was doing for other kids. Like you yeah. were the other one too. And I think that's, you know, whether it's a teacher, uh, administrator, I, it is that, that ability to 
make everyone feel they're getting that attention to do that? Because we know if honestly, if you were the only student that was done for right. then probably not the best thing, right? And right. You know, that, but if, you know, and I think the best leaders I've ever worked for, a lot of the stories that I share about them that really had an impact on me are stories that other people will share, but in their own very unique way, because they took time to like really get to know them connect. So I, I absolutely love that story. So talking about great leaders, I know that you are, you work on the board of NiceGate. I'm going to give NiceGate a little shout out. So, and I've, I've shared the story before. I'm not going to share it again, but NiceGate was like the first speaking experience I had outside of Canada. And it was a, a horrible experience, not because of them. We're going to get a better the, experience in there. Don't yeah, worry. Just because it was like my first, that no, two people showed up and one of them left. So it was me talking to a guy for an hour, which was, and I gave him the best talk I could. So that's like, but, you know, NiceGate has always got a little warm place in my heart because of that experience, because they were the first people to ever reach out to me outside of Canada, which was um, really, really amazing. But I know you work with great leaders right now. I know that you are an exceptional leader yourself. But when you think of an administrator who had a real big impact on you, who's someone you think of and why? I do want to talk about this one positive leader. So he was not my direct supervisor, but he was probably one of the most positive leaders I've ever had. Mm -hmm. He was the high school principal back when I was an educational technology director and the technology department was not putting in Wi-Fi in the building. They didn't budget right. for it. And, and like he was all into innovation and he really thought that it was essential to have Wi-Fi and laptop carts that pushed in the classroom and on a pull out computer lab. So he gave me money and he's like, Alana, here's from the high school budget. Own it. You get empowered me. Um, and he gave me like full autonomy to run that project and put Wi-Fi into a high school back in like, I don't even know what year this, a very long time ago when there was no right. Wi-Fi. And although he was not my direct supervisor, he's someone, when I sat down and I think, you know, you, you've written books, the hardest part of my book for me actually was sitting down and writing the acknowledgements and reflecting on myself and how I got to where I am today and who helped me get there. And I actually wrote an acknowledgement to him. I can read it short if you want, um, but it, I think it helps you understand why I think he's a good leader. And I put a lot of like time into, into these because they're so personal. Um, right. And when I asked him to endorse the book and I said, I'll oh, make sure you check out the last few pages. He called me afterwards, like immediately. He's like, he, he could not imagine that I had that great of an impact on him. And I think that that's what we sometimes forget is that you don't need to be someone's boss to be a leader. You, right. could, you could be a teacher and you could be a leader. You could be a TA and you could be a leader. You could be a student and you could be a leader. But also that we have an impact sometimes that goes so much deeper than just what you think. And you could really say something that changes someone's whole, whole life and whole career. And you, you don't even ever know that. So I think that's what's cool about being in our profession. Who is it? Can I ask who this is? Yeah. So his name is Adam Pease. He's the assistant superintendent in Chappaqua School District. I know Adam. You know Adam? I do know Adam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's so great. I'm actually interviewing him for um, what was supposed to be a panel. And now it's just a one-on-one -on -one interview next Friday for tech and learning. So because I don't like we talked about this. It's not about the tech, right? Like, and I think Adam's such a great example of that. It's not about the tech. It's about the visionary and innovation and leadership behind it. And that's why I think I resonate with him. I'll, re I'll just read this little thing. I think it will help you understand why he's such a great leader. I said, throughout my entire professional journey, you have constantly served as my mentor and sounding board, generously offering your wisdom and time to discuss every career decision I've ever made and guiding me along the right path. You've emphasized the significance of gathering all the essential keys for success making certain that if I ever encounter a door, I hold the key to unlock it. The single piece of advice was the catalyst that led me to pursue a degree in leadership. I'm forever grateful for your wisdom, support, and the lasting impact you've had on my journey. I love it. You know, and you know, it's, it's interesting listening because I guarantee what you're saying about Adam, someone's going to say about you in the future. So I, you know, no. having, having no. that, having that impact. Right. So I, I absolutely love that. All right. Last question. Um, you have a lot of different experiences. You've worked with a ton of different people in your career. But if you can go back to your very first year of teaching and, you know, think about all the changes that have happened in the world and all the changes that have happened in your own thinking, what is something that a piece of advice that you give to yourself uh, back then that because of what you know now? 
Um, so I'm a perfectionist and I like to be like, I guess, yeah, I'm really a perfectionist. So we spent a lot of time perfecting things. And back then might've been like a lesson, a lesson plan, a smart notebook lesson, a file, something like that. And I think if I could go back, to tell myself, and it's sort of true today in, the, in a world with AI, like to really reflect on like, what's important? What is Im an important characteristic of you? you that you want to preserve and mm -hmm. what isn't and don't waste your time recreating the wheel that's already there right like ai can help guide you there teachers pay teachers i don't know i'm just saying i think john spencer did a really good job of saying this about ai it's like the vanilla and you add your own flavor so like don't waste your time time is precious and i think just spending time like miss simpson did getting to know your students and connecting with humans i think that's what i would go back and tell myself well, vanilla is a flavor, just so you know. Okay, but you know. What <laughs> I know. So, like, the plain would be actually. Plain. Okay. Right? Well, like, but the Greek I, yogurt. Like, the plain Greek <laughs> yogurt. Right, right. And then you just add honey, right? Like, that would be the, you know, it would be the plain Greek yogurt that you add your own honey to, right? Exactly. And walnuts. That's a very Greek thing to do. So, <laughs> I, I actually know, as much as I'm joking about that, that is a really important aspect because, I think sometimes, and like even having conversations earlier, um, when you have perfection, when you're a perfectionist, it often holds you back from trying new things because yeah. you are so terrified. And for me, I will tell you one of my strengths is I'll just do stuff. I'll just go. And then I'll kind of see, and then I say, okay, as I go through the process, I'm trying to get better at it. And I think, especially in your role, in my work, people seeing you willing to try new things and actually adjust and adapt as you go is really important because especially, you know, your role at tech director, um, if you are a perfectionist and people don't see you stumbling, having some issues along the way, they're going to be terrified to try new stuff, right? Because they just kind of think you have it right. Um, some of the people I struggle the most with, um, and we were talking about this before, just seem to have it all down and you just can't see yourself in that picture, right? You can't see it. So I think that's really, really powerful. So Al Alana, thanks so much for being on the podcast. I'm looking forward to having you on more. Uh, everyone listening, if you can check out her book, The Generative Age, Artificial Intelligence and the Future of Education. It is not just a how-to, but really kind of a bigger idea of, of you know what is possible in our world today in education. I know you're going to love it. I've really enjoyed co uh, having a conversation with you. I look forward to more. Thanks everyone for listening. I hope you have a wonderful day.